Storage snapshots may be the closest thing we have to time travel. And like history, they should be preserved, which is why Peer Storage offers safe mode to protect your storage snapshots from things like accidental or malicious eradication. And what's more is that we are rolling out new enhancements to safe mode to make configuration changes even easier using Peer One. <laughs> For existing customers, enabling safe mode and extending eradication delays can be performed right from within all modern purity versions by an administrator. Now, as a side note, eradication delay is basically a timer to determine how long safe mode will protect your snapshots from manual deletion or eradication. So now let's say you want to decrease your eradication delay or disable safe mode for all or some of your data, whether that's to free up space or because you're a carefree soul. Now, previously, you would have to call in a peer support who will take steps to validate that this change is legitimate and not a bad actor trying to socially engineer the change. Hi, this is peer support. You've reached Langer. Can I have your pen? Sure, it's Then they'll bring in a second authorization contact to the call to validate their pin. Hi, secondary contact. Can I have your pin as well? Uh, sure. Thank you. I'll go ahead and process that change now. Now this process is okay, but as you can see, it involves having two administrators on the same call at the same time, and does come with the risk of exposing your pin to another administrator. But there's a new way to initiate and authorize these changes from within Peer One. All right, so we're logged into Peer One here, and if you see this banner that says your organization is non-compliant, congratulations, you have this capability, and most customers will. And if you don't see this, don't worry. As of this recording, we're still rolling this out, so you will get it soon. Now, if we want to initiate a change in our safe mode configurations for any of our arrays, we need to go to the appliance view over here and then click on the safe mode shield. Now, there are two options within here. One is to view the data protection assessment for this particular array, so we can benchmark the configuration of this array against peers leading practices. And then of course the other option here is to enable safe mode. So let's go ahead and click on that. And here we have another dialogue that says our organization is non-compliant and this isn't that big of a deal. So all we need to do is enable a minimum of two safe mode approvers. Now I highly recommend going with more than two, maybe three, maybe four, and you'll see why in just a little bit. Now the safe mode approvers is a new role that we've introduced within Peer One. So it's very easy to set up, especially initially as we are logged in as a Peer One administrator. And so adding this role is very easy, just like any other role within Peer One. We simply go into the users menu and I'm going to create two approvers for this demonstration. So first we're going to make Lucy an approver. So I'm simply just going to go into her profile here under access control and going to click the pencil and then we're going to add the safe mode approver role. So with that, we'll just save it and move on. And we're going to add another approver. So we're going to add Miroslav as another approver, exact same process, just add the safe mode approver role, save, and we're good to go. Now, this is just the process for the initial configuration. I'll show you later how we can add more users. In the meantime, let's go back to the appliance view and let's make a change to this array. Now, what we're going to do is disable safe mode for this array. And of course, this process still requires support to go in and actually make that change. So step one is to set the scope of what it is that we're asking for support to do. This is essentially opening up the support ticket. And then step two would be to schedule the appointment with peer technical support. So let's go ahead and do that now. So click continue here. And then what we can do, we can make changes against multiple arrays if we want to. So we have FB109-21 and let's go ahead and add FM109-1. So now we get the change for these two arrays. Now, of course, with safe mode, we can also get very granular into specific protection groups. And of course, we can see these here within the protection group. But in this case, I want to make the change to the entire array. So we're not going to select any of those right now. Now, the safe mode status, I'm going to go ahead and set this to disabled. Right now, it's enabled for both of these arrays. So let's make the change to disable these. Maybe these are getting moved to test dev and I don't really care about the data that's on them. And then of course, the eradication timer. Hey, if we wanted to reduce that timer, uh, by all means, make that change here, but because we're disabling safe mode doesn't really apply. So, all right, let's go ahead and schedule the change here. So let's go into the calendar view and hey, let's do a change on a Friday. Why not? And we'll pick 10 a.m. 
And of course that time zone is Pacific, which you can change right up here. All right, so that is everything configured. We've got our change mode request in. Now the next step is to approve this. Now our approvers will get an email notification saying that there is a pending request. And as you can see here, I am logged in as Lucy, one of our approvers. And down here under messages is a pending request. Now you may not notice pending requests right away. And that's because approvals won't appear until 24 hours before the scheduled change. This is just an added layer of security to help mitigate issues like disgruntled employees from weakening your security before leaving the company. And up here, we can see what the request is. Hey, we're gonna disable safe mode on these two arrays on June 30th. So I'm gonna go ahead and approve this. And now when I do, I'm going to get a step up authentication dialog. So what this is, is you simply enroll your cell number in Pure One, and we're gonna text you a one-time code just to validate that you are who you say you are and that your account hasn't been compromised. And to make any changes to safe mode, whether it's directly with support or through Pure One, you need two approvals, and that's why it shows as pending here. And that's also why we recommend, if at all possible, to enroll more than just two approvers, because then that way it gives you a little bit more flexibility with that 24-hour window of making the approval. So with Miroslav just approving the request here, we're ready to go, and the next step is to enable remote assist on the arrays, so that way support can go in and actually make the change. Now let's say you wanna add more approvers beyond just the first two. Well, this follows a very similar flow. To add or remove another approver beyond the initial setup, it's gonna follow the same process. So we go ahead and we add the safe mode approver role to this account. But now the difference is that this has to be approved by our two established approvers. So we can go into our requests and simply click approve this change, enter our step up authentication code, and now we're just going to be pending for that second approval. And once that's done, this user is now also a safe mode approver. And this is the same process for removing safe mode approvers as well. If you're a current Pure Storage customer, then log into Pure One today to enroll your safe mode approvers. And best of all, these enhancements are available for all supported Pure hardware and Purity versions. So that's going to about wrap things up for today. Thanks so much for checking out this episode of Digital Bytes. And until I see you in the next episode, stay pure.